you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I am going to share with you how our first week of homeschool went and I cannot wait to share with you guys like all the details all the nitty-gritty everything that we got up to in our first week of homeschool so if any of you guys are new here to my channel this is your first time clicking on this video today hi my name is Brittany I am a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10 4 and 2 and I just started my third year of homeschool so you guys like I have really been excited about this homeschooling year because I really have started off our homeschool year a lot different than I have in the past and um, yeah I'm just going to chat with you guys and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy just chit chatting with me uh, recapping our first week of um, homeschool so you guys the newest thing that I added into our homeschool year has been I have actually been using a uh, official planner this homeschooling year from the start and I really love this school nest planner that I'm using this homeschooling year and I'm going to briefly show you guys my favorite page of this planner which is my reflections page so I was able to really just sit down with some washi tape and just really write down like all of like our high points some of the points that I feel like we need to work on throughout our homeschooling year some tweaks some things we're definitely going to do and I'm just going to sit down and you know talk to you guys Guys about all of the things that we really uh, got up to some of the things that um, I'm definitely going to keep and some things I may have to tweak a little as our year progresses so you guys first and foremost let's go ahead and talk about our first subject that we do every single day which is math and we are doing Saxon math um, if you guys aren't new here you already know the journey that I went on last year when it has come to math and finding a good one for my daughter that she actually enjoys and she actually gets it and Saxon has definitely like filled in those cracks for her and she is to the point now where she is feeling confident in math and I can really see uh, her her thriving within Saxon. Uh, from my last update that I spoke with you guys about, um, I was speaking with you guys about some uh, gaps that I was seeing with her within Saxon, some things that she needed extra practice with. And you guys, thank you so much for like writing all those comments down on that video because I have taken some of you guys' suggestions where I stop the lesson if I'm finding she needs a little additional practice. And then I've been using the supplemental practice at the back of the book uh, before we go on to the next lesson. And that has definitely like solidified a lot of these concepts and I'm so happy for you guys and for this community because that really has uh, helped us out along with our Saxon journey. Uh, we utilize Nicole the math lady. Those video lessons have been like gold, especially for me. It gives my daughter a sense of independence and it's just a subject that I can be a little bit more hands off on. So um, I have really been enjoying Saxon. I'm so happy to see my daughter's growth in it and we're just trucking along with it. So we are on about a lesson 93 right now. So um, yeah, I'm really proud of Brielle. So um, math really has been good for us. Now, as far as one of our highlights for this week, you guys, I really have been enjoying the Heritage Mom Hem Study. Now this hymn study, you guys, is so simple. We just read the history of that hymn uh, on the first day. On the second day, we read out the hymn out loud. And then as we are doing uh, our hymn practice and our hymn study, we actually are able to listen to so many different forms of that hymn being sung, whether it be traditional, jazz, soulful, country, instrumental. Uh, I really love all the links that the Heritage Mom has put in this uh, hymn study and it's been such a great and uh, beautiful addition to like our morning time so this hymn study has been so so much fun doing even my younger toddlers have been listening and uh, enjoying all the music and everything like that so uh, this has definitely been one of our highlights for this week now as far as our grammar and ELA block we have been really enjoying fix it grammar you guys fix it grammar I love the updates that they have done to this I love the teacher's guide so much better than the uh, teacher guides from the other edition so kudos to IEW for all of the updates that they have done on this uh, Brielle she definitely has her strengths when it comes to grammar ELA and uh, she has been trekking along on this she's been doing more than one uh, lesson a day because she just loves English so um, I'm so happy she's been really solidifying those grammar skills and these short effective lessons have been giving us time to really allow Brielle to focus on her creative writing and other writing skills uh, we're not bogged down all day with grammar and I love how effective these lessons are so fix it grammar love the updates it's been amazing 
So you guys, like our main core that we have started off our homeschooling year with has been Gather Around Artists. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this has definitely gotten me out of my comfort zone when it has come to like how I view my homeschool. A lot of uh, just the activities, just the style of learning, it definitely has uh, me feeling a little bit anxious <laughs> just because it's new. However, I'm not gonna lie, I really have been been enjoying this style of learning. Uh, my daughter has learned so much over the past week. We are uh, finishing up, or I think we did five lessons. So in the artist unit, uh, they have it broken down by specific artists that we're gonna be studying. And we already have done the first lesson, which is what is art. We learned about painters, ballet dancers, poets, and cartoonists. And out of all of those lessons, our favorite has definitely been learning about the cartoonists. Um, you guys, I love the video links that Gather Round has for their like playlists. When you log into the Gather Round app, they have specific playlists and book lists that a lot of people have put together for you. And I really have been enjoying the playlists on YouTube of like all of the videos and things that we have been watching to like really add to gather around and I really have been enjoying this unit study and I really have been seeing like a Brielle really like bloom and blossom as we are studying about art. Um, I will give you guys like my full overall review of this unit after I complete it. A couple of things that I have not been liking about this unit really has been the student pages. I really thought that this since this was an artist unit it was going to be like more art and incorporated in the student pages but it hasn't been that much art so what I've been doing is been pulling activities from the gather around app and some activities of my own uh, to add and we haven't been doing all of the student pages uh, and, and by modifying it that way we really have been enjoying uh, this unit study um, I'm gonna share with you guys some of the picture books that we read with artists this school or this um, first week we have read a blaze the story of Ama Thomas and this picture book you guys is so pretty I love love all the illustrations. I love uh, Brielle learning about Ama Witsy's life. She did a recreation of one of Ama Witsy's famous paintings and um, we really enjoyed reading this book when we went over painters. Now when we went over ballet dancers you guys you already know Brielle loves Mitzi Copeland so I went ahead and I pulled off this book Firebird off of our bookshelf so this was just a reread for us and we really really enjoyed it. Brielle got an opportunity to work with some pastels and she was able to to a color some ballet shoes and she really really enjoyed it we enjoy all of the videos and one thing I will say is that um, Rebecca Spooner in that ballet lesson she really 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 did a great job covering uh, Mitzi Copeland's life and I really love how she talked about discrimination in such a biblical way where she referred the students back to the Bible and it was so beautiful her words in that lesson and I really appreciate how she touched on that topic very very beautifully so I really enjoyed that um, something else that I have been adding into our artist unit is these little leader books what I have been doing is just pulling out specific artists that goes along with whatever lesson we are doing and when we went over um, when we went over poets, we actually talked about uh, Gwendolyn Brooks. So uh, Brielle had an opportunity to uh, read in this little leaders, and hopefully, here it goes, <laughs> I can find it for you guys. She had an opportunity to read about Gwendolyn Brooks and she did a small little summary about her. And I really love utilizing these uh, little leader and little legends books because we're really able to add in that uh, diversity and other voices within this unit. This unit, it really just paces on and it's just touching very uh, European, uh, just the regular uh, basic art. And I really just wanted to expound on that a little bit more. Um, when we went over cartoonists as well, um, I went ahead and I found um, another one. And here we went over Dwayne McGuffey, especially him. Uh, he It was really, really great learning about him, especially when we talked about cartoonists. And I was able to introduce Brielle to like the Jessica 
Digestic League and um, we were really able to talk about uh, those different forms of uh, cartoons and Marvel and then we uh, watched a really cool documentary on Disney and it was really really cool doing that unit. Brielle she actually created her own uh, comic strip as well and she had so much fun doing that. So um, this Gather Around Artist Unit it definitely like has gotten me out of my comfort zone but I really have been enjoying all like the little rabbit trails and the things we have gotten up to so definitely thumbs up. Another thumbs up that I have been enjoying has been uh, Brave Writer. We are actually doing the Lemonade War Literature Study through Brave Writer and Brielle is utilizing her school nest notebooks and as you guys can see she actually uh, had a chance to decorate all of her school nest notebooks. You guys I'm going to show you like all of her school nest notebooks that she decorated on the first day of school. She had so much fun doing that and that was such a great surprise for her. So this is her main fifth grade school nest notebook that she is using for her Brave Writers uh, copy work and things like that. And I'm going to briefly show you guys like her first page of copy work. And we learned about onomatopoeias and different literary elements. I really loved how the Brave Writer uh, literature guide, the arrow guide, it really pulls us back into the book for grammar, for everything. And it really has been allowing Brielle to experience novels in a different way. So I have really been enjoying uh, the Brave Writer literature guide, especially going along with our read aloud for uh, the start of our school year. And The Lemonade War, you guys, this book is just so cute. I think I really did a good job picking out this one. Um, I definitely think this is a great summer back to school read because the kids in this book, they are at their last weeks of summer. So it's really, really cool for Brielle to start off her school year reading such a fun, lighthearted read. Now, as far as Brielle's creative writing, you guys go, she actually finished another one of her creative writings and we are actually going to do a creative writing exercise in the Brave Writer. So this one that she completed was called Lost in Disney and she did such a good job, you guys, typing up her story and I can't wait for us to go through her creative writing and this time we're actually going to go through it and we're going to do some small edits. When Brielle has done creative writing in the past, I really haven't touched her work. She just read it to me or I read it out loud. We talk about the theme, the plot, the setting, and that's it. I don't do any type of edits to her work. But as she's getting older, I really want to help her fine tune her writing. So I think we're going to gently start editing her creative writing. I typically only like to edit her uh, writing when it comes to uh, like her history or science or like her specific uh, writing assignments that she does outside of creative writing. But we're going to give this a go and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. I really don't want to um I don't want to, uh, I guess, approach this in a way that she starts to not want to write anymore when she starts to see some of the edits. I want her to know that her voice matters when it comes to writing and uh, everyone has to get their work edited and this is just going to help her improve it. So hopefully it goes well. So this one she just finished and I also wanted to share with you guys the writing assignment she did over the summer, her creative writing, which was called The Illusions of Antarctica. So Brielle really loves doing creative writing and these illustrations, she actually illustrated straights on procreate she really has gotten really good at when it has come to like learning procreate and things like that so uh, she really really enjoys um, creative writing um, as far as history you guys we started our heart and soul history and this has been so much fun you guys um, I really enjoy this book right here the heart and soul book we have been reading uh, the main literature book that we're reading with Heart and Soul has been 40 Acres and Maybe a Mule and it has been like amazing you guys. Uh, we really have been enjoying this book. Along with reading and doing this literature guide, I actually pulled off my shelf Howard Zinn's A Young People's Guide to History and it has really been amazing giving Brielle like the context in which all of the uh, things in history has been happening and uh, using all of these living books has been amazing when it has come to this heart and soul heritage pack i love how she utilizes so many like living books picture books the main picture book we read this week from heart and soul has been brick by brick and you guys like history was definitely like one of my high points this uh week it really was like a lot of fun so i'm so 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 happy we are taking this like living history approach when it comes to like um history and things like that um 
So as far as like my toddlers, you guys go, I really focused this week on Brielle. This week was supposed to be a week where I wasn't supposed to do preschool, but uh, you guys, if you have younger kids, you already know the deal. When they see the older ones doing work, they definitely want to like come on into the group. So I still actually did preschool with Leia, but we're officially going to start her schedule next week. So I did take her first day of school pictures as well, and uh, she really enjoyed that. So. So um, we mainly have been doing a gentle and classical preschool with uh, Leia. She loves this program. I love it as well. It incorporates Bible, her literature, and it incorporates math. She does preschool math at home by Kate Snow. This, you guys, I love this hands-on math approach. Now I did add a few things into Leia for this week uh, with a gentle and classical preschool. I went ahead and I added in her handwriting book. And you guys, this is so cute. Like I went ahead and I put the date on it. So this is like some of her first handwriting that she did in this first book, Handwriting Without Tears. So I'm really excited for her to really start learning like her letters and things like that. She actually, for the most part, almost knows how to write her full name. So I'm really proud of her. And uh, this book has been so cute. We only did it one time this week. And my goal for Leia is to do this book at least two to three times a week. Something else we went ahead and started this week has been Get Ready for the Code. And you guys, I love this book, um, Get Ready for the Code. I went ahead and I just purchased the hard copies of this one right here because I noticed in the PDFs that I had, it was missing a few of the pages. So I went ahead and I purchased the physical copy of it. And I also purchased the teacher guide because this teacher guide, you guys, I know a lot of people say you don't need this teacher guide. And honestly, I think you do. It has a lot of fun activities on solidifying those letter sounds beginning, starting, and end. And I really think that um, it complements it very, very well. It gives you a lot of like outside activities to do. So um, Leia, you guys, she has just been like uh, getting on into this school thing and she's so excited. And um, I'm so excited about like these preschool years. And I really um, hope she enjoys like all of her little lineup and things like that. So um, that is really Leia's update. But as far as me being very consistent with her, her full load schedule is going to start uh, next week. And you guys, um, talking about schedules, a lot of you guys have been asking me like how I work around doing uh, work with my toddlers and doing all of the work with Brielle. And I'm gonna make a separate video, you guys, talking about like my schedule and how I'm able to fit it all in. You guys, when I started off my homeschooling journey, I was, I had a six month old and I had a two year old. So I was still breastfeeding my six month old and I was potty training my two year old along with homeschooling Brielle. So I definitely know that uh, homeschooling with babies and toddlers you guys it's like no joke so I definitely want to you know give you guys some like tips on how to maneuver homeschooling through those seasons definitely because I have been there <laughs> so you guys um that was really like my first week of homeschool my uh, first week and how everything went like I'm so happy we had like a really really great start to our first week um one thing I will say that I definitely learned this first week was I cannot do our big full spreads when it comes to like our breakfast I really have to keep them nice and simple we have really been getting our you know getting in a groove of like having huge breakfasts over like uh, the summertime but I definitely had to like uh, stop those and you know we had to do, go um, and eat like cereal oatmeal we had to go back to the basics when it came to breakfast as far as our schedule and things like that but um, overall you guys I will say uh, I really didn't have many hiccups and I'm really, really blessed. I really hope that this is gonna be a start to another great homeschooling year. You guys, I really hope you all are having a great start to your homeschooling year. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for chatting with me and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.